figure. We forgot to hit the start recording button, so we missed out some even more. Go figure. Webcam over the map. So you can full screen the game. On D3 it says season one ending soon. Oh yeah. Uh, finally, uh, season one's ending soon because when season two comes out, I'll be able to uh, play with you guys on that for sure. I'm just burnt out on this season because I already have the item. I'm only going to reach level 70. And then all your levels are going to carry over to uh, your softcore characters anyway. So I figured there was no point in playing it again for right now because I got, I got burnt out. At least for this season. Okay. This thing's about to be dead. Oh crap. He's blasting me up now. It is. It is that Mr. Brian. Oh. Nice. I have nice friends. I just won Burnout Paradise. I'm actually quite happy. Because uh, I was going to buy this a while ago. And now I didn't. All right, all right, <laughs> Blood Crow, Brian. Blood Crow forgot that I'm his mod, not Burke Black's mod. Blood Crow, my dear friend, thank you for letting me know. It was awesome because uh, I'm really happy about Burnout Paradise. I like it. Games packed. Really, bro?
Um. Let's see, I'm asking uh, Burke Black, basically, he's saying that he has a great rig, he has great internet con service, like he's basically the step away from buying the business, uh, business class, which is really high download speeds, basically like he's going to up it, because business class and residential have two different like rules where your service won't throttle you, your service provider won't throttle you. Uh, like they do uh, residential areas so like if a m bunch of people are using the internet you'll get throttled and they'll drop it in half or something so basically you'll pay for that other stuff yeah I want burnout paradise Games packed. Um, so basically, with business class, they like I don't think they'll be able to do that. I think that's what that stipulation is, because you're a business, so therefore you're making money and all that stuff. Hey, babe. Alright, hold on guys. Hey Brian. Hold up. Oh nice, nice, congrats. Games packed, forgot that I won the game. He must have been up early or something today. Well, there goes my win for the day. But what do you mean? I, because I got Burnout Paradise. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, let's see. Oh, that was a good game, dude. Yeah, I know. I almost, I almost bought it. I'm actually really glad I didn't. Thank you. Who? Oh, he went AFK? Is he done for the night? I don't know. Oh. You are heard here. I won that? Oh, that's what I get for helping you. Yep. Oh, my bad, Orson. Wait, what? What did he say? He said, 
He's like, oh, I won that. Laugh out loud. That's what I get for trying to help you. My bad, dude. Now you gotta make me feel bad. Like, come on, dude. <sighs> Blood Crow's over here talking about how he spammed you like crazy. You know, you know, to your face. But hey, thanks again for helping. I mean, this, it kind of means a lot. Uh, oh, we can't save. Wait, I'm under attack by what? Oh, another thingy. Oh, get in here, thing. Get up there. wait for our sleep. Oh, let's actually just bump up our stuff. Alright, Blood Crow. Oh, I was just saying alright. What's up? Is that fine, babe? Yeah, I got you on my laptop right now, uh, Brian. Mm, no. Grim Fandango. Any fans of uh, uh, Grim Fandango? Just so you know, they're being—it's being remastered. So basically, the news sta states: Double Fine announces Grim Fandango remastered release date, Day of the Tentacle Revival. So, any big fans of this uh, game can go ahead check out the remastered version as of January 27th. This this new year. And uh, enjoy your your new PS4 or PlayStation Vita, as well as Windows, OS X, and Linux will all be featuring this. Uh, Sony featured the up-to-date, modernized game in its E3 press conference back in June, and at the time it sounded as if it would be a PlayStation exclusive. However, Tim Schafer, who created the original game, and just happens to be Double Fine's founder, confirmed a month later that Grim Fandango Remastered would indeed be available on the PC. So, with Grim Fandango Remastered uh, offering higher resolution graphics compared to the original, a new soundtrack performed by Melbourne Symphony Orchestra and an updated con control scheme, among other things, uh, basically, like, this is, you know, a fine pick. Uh, speaking of retro revivals, uh, Double Fine's also announced that it's working on a special edition of Day of the Tentacle, a Lucas Arts title from 1993. Double Fine doesn't have much else to announce on that front right now, but the company says it'll release more details on that effort down the road, so you'll have to be patient for now. Alright, cool. Um, I actually might be interested in seeing you play that. There, Blood Crow.
Yeah. Dream Tip sent you a bill? For what? Everyone, it stream tip even says it doesn't take money from you. Well, we'll find out, I guess. No, I'm saying on my end. It could be... Like, I thought that comes out of your stuff anyway. If Even if they were to bill you. Weird. Very weird. Well, I like how you can sign in with Twitch. It doesn't say it costs anything anywhere. You don't see any stipulations on having to pay for it. And you don't have to sign up with a credit card or anything. You just switch the links over and that's it. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Notifications. Oh, check that out. Who? Dragon Age Nudes favorited your tweets. Uh, five hours ago. 24 hour New Year's Eve special Dragon Age Inquisition. First run nightmare. Backseat gaming necessary. Yes. Four others favorite. Four other favorites. On the 23rd, the 22nd, the 21st, the 20th. Jeez. And these are like my YouTube posts. Wow. So. Well, Dragon Age news. This is, uh, news to me. <laughs> Let's see what you guys are about. 426 followers. 17,000.7 thousand tweets. 36.2 thousand favorites. And a lot of my favorites have just happened basically this th that that feels awesome like even like even the fact that i may not have a lot of viewers right now just makes me feel good that somebody is watching even if i'm not paying attention to it Like, this is just through Twitter. I don't... Like, I don't know how this works. I just... On our way, Solus! Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That would be totally cool, Blood Crow. That'd be an awesome kickstart. Oh, Solus took a hit. Bam, take that. Yeah, I'm glad I fixed my stream, too. 
I was running at too high of a bitrate. Uh, you have your bitrate around 2000, right? Yeah, I was running the mine at 35, from the Black City. 100. There is no record even of our names. We are vilified by legend. They spit on our deeds and claim we brought darkness into the world. Hmm. We discovered the darkness. We claimed it as our own. Let it permeate our being. If the others have not returned, they are lost. I am alone. Interesting. Let's see. Any more cool stuff in here? Yeah. More loot. So what are you doing, Bloodcrow? Calpurnia prepares to set foot in the place where regret dwells to bring it into the light. She cannot know what must be done. Cannot understand in time. She will forgive. <laughs> That sounds like it's, uh, tasty. More masterwork equipment. I'm not gonna say no. I mean, who am I to bite the hand that feeds me? Come on, game. Give me some good gear. Oh, another memory crystal. How does this age stand such desolation? They seem to a maker who answers no prayers. Once I have ascended, I will be their answer. I will be their light. It's for New Year's Eve. Yeah, you could have did an 8 to 8, man. There was something else I could pick up down here. Oh, maybe that thing I thought was iron was uh just the gold bag then. Hmm. So what are you about to play more War Thunder for a little bit? Is that it down here? Alright. The big doors, guys. We're gonna save right here. We've been going at it for about another hour.